Today for this Eastman's gear review, we're gonna take a look at the new MagView digiscoping system. Super cool system, brand new for 2022. But first, make sure you subscribe to our channel, hit that little notification bell, leave me a like if you think this video is any good. But first, let's jump right in to the MagView digiscoping system. Today, we are looking at some bowls. We're gonna use the new MagView. This is a digiscoping system uh, and it's meant to be sleek, uh, not bulky and just streamlined and universal as well. Uh, you have this basic cap. This is basically the system. Uh, cap flips open. This is a magnet right here. And then you take this steel sheet and you stick it to the back of your phone. Uh, obviously, it's nice to have a flat phone case, but the benefit is you don't need another phone case. You just have this sleek piece of steel on the back and it just sticks right on to your spotter onto the Meg View eyepiece and it makes digiscoping pretty easy. So we've got a bull spotted down here. Let's get the mag view on him and see what kind of bull he is. What you do is you just spot your spotter you, and you put that rule of third corner right onto your spotter and work it right in just like that. And this system's completely adjustable. Okay. But there you go, look at that six point bull. He's probably like a 280 type bull. But it's, it's really that simple. It takes a, a little bit of getting used to because it's just different and you have to sight it. And so once you practice, it's it comes easy. But I'm just sighting with that rule of third line, that grid line, all the way in. And then the magnet catches and it's right on. So pretty slick system. It's quick and it's simple and I like that the eyepiece folds back over and protects the top uh, eyepiece of your spotter. Um, that's pretty handy to have. It seems like it attaches just with an Allen screw. It's just a compression fit with an Allen screw. And there's adapters so that it works with any size spotting scope eyepiece. All right, when I set up my phone for digiscoping, I like to have my spotter no more than 35x. Um, once again, I'm keeping maximum clarity in mind. That's what I'm shooting for is the most sharp, crisp images that I can possibly get. And most spotting scopes, they really shine in their mid power settings. Uh, like this one's a 27 to, what is it, 60, uh, 55. So yeah, 27 to 55. There's 20 to 80s out there. There's a lot of different spotters out there but somewhere around 35 to 40 is where I like to be. And then with the phone, you know, you're gonna get like the black eye relief, the ring view around uh, the image on your phone. And so I like to zoom in on my, with my phone a little bit too, but not more than like 2X. If you zoom in too much, you get that pixelization. So just a little bit of zoom, just to get the, you know, the black out of the view of the image. So you have a nice, you know, crisp, full image uh, when you're capturing digiscope footage. They also have an adapter for a binocular and this, this just compresses onto your eyepiece. So you can hardly tell it's there. Your eye relief is gonna be a little bit different. See so the different height of your eye relief. So you just have to wind that one down to the bottom and that one up and now they're even and it's you know just for normal glassing you don't even know it's there so uh, I like that about this eyepiece now it works the same way uh, this is just a magnet in this ring right here and it just magnets to your steel plate um, we got another bull down here in the timber and so if you wanted to get a picture or a video through your binocular you can do that as well and you can mount this onto a tripod and, and do it. But if I have a tripod, I'm probably gonna have a spotter too. So I'll just run the spotter. But if you're just looking for a quick photo or maybe out the truck window or 
you know, looking for a still capture, uh, you can do this on the bino pretty easy. So uh, same thing, side it with your grid line over here, this top corner one, and you just go right in. Funk, and it gets you nice and close, and then you can adjust it. I'll check that out. The cool thing about this too, and which I appreciate, is the magnet is just strong enough to keep it in place. It's not gonna just like slide around all over you, but it's not too strong where it's annoying. Like the phone still comes off easy and it just stays in place and it's not loud. We're kind of getting some rain here, but hey, at least we're seeing bowls, pretty cool. So yeah, check them out. The MagView adapter for your Bino, one for your spotting scope, pretty slick digiscoping system. It really is. And I like that you don't need another phone case. You just have your sleek, I call it a town phone case, just one you use every day. And it slides right into your chest pocket. No bulky phone cases, right into your chest pocket, right into your pants pocket. All right, hopefully you guys found this review helpful. This MagView digiscoping system's pretty darn cool. So thanks for joining us. We're gonna watch these bulls a little bit longer and enjoy our time up here on the mountain. And we'll see you guys on the next one.